Uh, welcome back to another video. Today I'll be making a uh, acid, which is traditional Yemeni dish with marak hamad. So we'll use two ingredients in the beginning. We have tamarind and halqa. You can, if you don't have halqa, it's okay. No need to use it, but it gives really good taste. So we will break it into small pieces. And also the, on the left hand side, we have the tamarind. We will add boiled water for them. and we will keep them for around 30 minutes to start making the sour soup or marak hamad we will add the oil to the pan then we will add half onion so we will keep frying the onion till we have a golden color So in the blender we will put uh, tomatoes, around two, garlic, uh, hot chili or jalapeno, the soaked halqa with water, and we will also add some water. Uh, some salt and also grounded cream. So blend it till it's like we have a homogeneous uh, mixture. So we keep uh, mixing the onion. Once we have like a golden brownish color, we will add uh, tomato paste. Around two small spoons or one and a half. So we keep mixing it till we make sure that the tomato paste is uh, cooked. Then we will add the blended mixture. Just add a little bit of water to the blender so we get most of our uh, uh, mixture and mix it. Then we will bring the tamarind. You will see after soaking with water, it's become very soft. We will mix it with the water. Then we will filter it to avoid having the seeds. Uh, we will keep mixing it then we will add uh, lamb soup or chicken soup whatever we have with potatoes I will post you a link on how to make it so we use the potato to thicken the uh, soup little bit so smash or mash the potato then add it We add uh, salt to make it like the desired level of saltiness. You see now like our uh, soup is like little bit thinner. We want to make it thicker. So we will use flour 
we'll add cold water to it and mix it very well so we will add this and all the time keep the temperature uh, low so we add it and we keep mixing to avoid having like uh, big junks or clusters of uh, the flour So you can see now it's thicker than the previous one now we'll start making our seeds so we'll add uh, boiled water we'll add salt and little bit of butter so once it start to boil we will decrease the temperature to uh, medium low and we we'll start adding the flour so I'm using like mixture of uh, all purpose and whole wheat So we keep uh, uh, mixing We'll add little bit of boiled water and keep it, uh, keep it to cook for around uh, one minute. If acid is still hard, we will add. Uh, we we'll keep adding a little bit of boiled water. So you can see that as it start to be cooked now and it's getting uh, cooked and very good and now the acid is ready
Astana, we will have uh, the acid to uh, the our dish that we will uh, serve on. We use cold water uh, with my hand so to avoid sticking and burning. So we make like a hole in the middle to put the soup. And now this is it's ready. So we will put the sour soup or marak hamel in the middle. We will also add hulba. I will post you a link to make how to make the hulba and also the sahawak or hot sauce. And bon appetit, like, share and subscribe and thank you very much for watching and try to make it. This is like one of the most delicious foods in Yemen and especially in Taiz. See you in another video.